counter dis disinformation unit. It still exists. Uh, there was also a rapid response unit of the Cabinet Office. Uh, and what the uh, Telegraph is doing in a, in a consistently uh, very important journalistically uh, range of uh, presenting these, these uh, stories is delving down deeply. Uh, and we've seen that what actually happened was that 90%, it, on a daily basis, uh, uh, the person who's now been named as Sarah Connolly, who's in the civil service, who's actually heading this unit up, was in uh, discussions with social media platforms to actually uh, have deleted and suppressed uh, comments, questions by a range of citizens. So effectively, a spy unit that originally was set up to counter terrorism was used against British subjects who were raising questions and asking questions and challenging things, and some of them might have said outlandish things, but you know, we were told it's about following the science, a very strange term because science is about inquiry and critical debate and thinking about things. And, yeah. uh, and so we've seen this now, it's a very, very important story, and it's linked to, a, uh, in, in the centre pages, we've got a situation where the BBC has also commented on this. They were actually at these meetings of the counter disinformation unit. They said that they, uh, their official statement is that they were only there as observers, but several BBC journalists have complained of a culture where you weren't allowed to talk about lockdowns, uh, you weren't even allowed to, in terms of using their name at the start of it, you had to say restrictions and limits, that any attempt to criticise or question uh, the ideas around them were uh, snubbed out by the editorial team. So some really significant questions. So the, uh, the, I mean, the, it does raise valid points, right? And I totally agree it needs to be looked at, but we've got to be, we, you've got to be a little bit careful, haven't you? In the sense that there's a difference between, or free speech has changed, hasn't it? And I'm all for free speech, but there's a difference between being able to say these things and putting it on, a, on social media where some people read it and believe it to be the truth. Yes, Rather, I mean, this is... It, it, herein it, lies the key thing, Stephen. It's absolutely the right point. So, um, obviously, uh, every discussion about free speech is predicated on the idea that us, ordinary people, the great unwashed, might suddenly get terrible ideas in their head and not be able to work it out. Of course, uh, there needs to be, uh, you know, we've heard a lot about fact checkers. We've heard about, and I think journalistic standards have gone down significantly. I think if news journalists were able to report the news, mm. we've got far too much activist news, far too much opinion based. And when we saw those press conferences, they were tub thumping, cheerleading, who's going further, who, which journalists can say, I, why aren't you going even further? Where was the, where were the critical questions? Questions, not even saying, I think you should do something differently. That's a different position. But raising questions about something that had never been done before, the efficacy of them, the consequences, the harms, the collateral damages. Why was it the case we often were only presented with a one-sided view and the public were terrified? We already saw things like we're going to scare the pants out of them. Surely the role within media would be to raise investigative questions and things, not just to be a PR supporter. And I think that there's two things here. One is the role of the media, but, but the, the role of the government, and David Davis has come out and said that they should be disbanded this unit, because uh, the rapid response unit is now defunct from the cabinet, but the DCMS had set it up and it now still exists. Ironically, you can't make this up Orwellianly, uh, in the uh, Department for Science and Innovation and Technology. So we've got this, uh, CDU still in existence and you know it, it, it applies to equally to other areas around the environment and others where questions are important. Yeah.